Hi guys, Re here from mummy4.com. Welcome back to my channel and another decluttering video. I was not planning to make this video. I was planning for my last decluttering project of Zara's room to be totally finished by now. However, if you watched the last video, you will know that at the end of the day, I worked my hardest, but then the end of the day came and I had to stop because I had to go and fetch the children from school, do swimming and all the things. I'm still left with a massive pile of stuff in my bedroom that I pulled out yesterday. I did not get around to finishing and decluttering. I have still got two massive drawers in Zara's room to go through, lots of holes where the boxes haven't been put back in the calyx. I mean, there are a lot of positives. I moved the bed yesterday. I totally decluttered under it. I changed her sheets so it's all lilac-y for her, so it looks cute. It looked cute when she came home and she was thrilled. I decluttered inside the wardrobe. I did all the boxes inside her wardrobe. I did the dressing up. A lot of good stuff was done. However, I just, massively underestimated how long it was going to take. And I know what you're thinking, why pull everything out, Ree, if you might not have time to finish it? Well, first of all, I thought I did have time. Secondly, it's to make myself do it, because if I hadn't pulled everything out like I did yesterday, I would have just stopped. I wouldn't be doing this today, and this project would never be finished. And third, third, <laughs> that's the right number of fingers, third, um, when I pull everything out, then I find things that are in the wrong place that belong somewhere else. So for example, yesterday I pulled out a whole bunch of boxes that I did not think had leggings in them. So if I'd just done the draw I'm about to do today and I thought I'd organized all our leggings and I hadn't organized the rest of the room, I would have found a whole load of other stuff that she had. I just wouldn't have had a good assessment of what she actually owned, what needed to be kept, what needed to be donated. You know, I just wouldn't have had a clear picture of that and I wouldn't have finished that draw that I'm going to do today in its entirety. So by pulling everything out, just have I feel like you have a better overview of what needs doing. Obviously, each to their own. If you've only got time to declutter one drawer, then absolutely do that if that's the method that works best for you. Because I know doing this way can feeling it can feel very overwhelming, and it can mean you don't start at all. So doing one drawer is better than not doing anything. But just feel like for me, when I've got so much to tackle, this is the only way to make myself do it. So with that being said. I'm going to put some AirPods in because I like to do that. I find that um, it helps me get on with things. Um, sometimes I listen to audiobooks, sometimes podcasts, but you'll always see me, well, usually anyway, um, when I'm doing decluttering and stuff with one of these in my ear. I get in the habit of just using one because I can still hear my surroundings. So if the children are home, I can still listen out for them. And also when one goes flat, I can just switch for the other one. I like audiobooks. I like podcasts. I have a podcast if you want to listen to a podcast. And I like generally listening to YouTube videos, not necessarily something you've really got to sit and watch, but just of having something on to listen to, to keep me company. It helps the time pass and helps me keep going. So with that being said, let's get on with it. Okay, this may not seem like the most logical place to start. Maybe the most logical place to start is that big old pile of stuff in my room. However, I'm gonna pull this out and see what we can do, because I feel like this could be dealt with, I'm saying quite quickly. Oh, there's so much stuff in here. Anyway, I'm gonna pull all this out, sort it, and then this can be like a really satisfying, beautifully lined up, you know, all her things. And then I can move on to the big old pile of stuff in my room. Believing you will get your round of applause. Picture for the ones that are lost in life. But even dreamers. Oh, 
right now I've had enough and I don't want to do anymore <laughs> I thought these drawers would be something of a quick win and there's just a lot more bits of fiddly junk in there than anticipated so I mean it's not going horribly I just I just was not planning to still be doing this and I've had enough I've got I just keep thinking about all the other things I should be doing and I don't feel like I'm getting through any of this quickly enough um Blah. But look, it's definitely not all bad. So we've got hair bands that are sorted into colour rainbow order. We've got a tiara box. We've got pants that are now well sorted. I took out all the ones that belong to Bella. I took out all the ones that are too small. Incidentally, all of the ones that are too small, there were still some age four to five, which I mean, which probably fit her, but she had plenty of five to six and six to seven knickers. She's seven, but she's really petite. Um, so the four to fives I'm going to donate to the school. It might be thinking like, really? Like does the school want those? But um in the nursery class, so nursery in Wales, I think it's different in England, but nursery in Wales is like part of the school. Uh they take them the sometimes the day or the term after they turn three for a rising threes block, which is generally afternoons, and generally they do a half day in the mornings, the school year in which they turn four, um, and that's nursery. And obviously in nursery classes, they have lots of accidents and things because they're quite little. Um, so spare pants of that size get donated there. They're all clean um, and they're just to, to send children home in clean underwear um, if they've had a little accident. So um, it's always worth asking your school when you're doing a declutter, what they want, what they're on the lookout for. So I need to go through, there, I know there are books and toys and things. I always take uh, things that the children have grown out of that they're just not into anymore that are in good condition to the school I know our school especially is really underfunded um, so they're always really really grateful for donations and things and they tend to go to the younger classes so I've generally got a relationship with the teachers there there's a lot of our stuff in the school and it's just nice to see that it's it's getting used and loved by other children so I've got this big hideous basket of <sighs> Still haven't gone through that. I have got this basket of leggings that are too small, so they're going in my pile of stuff downstairs that needs donating. I've got some stuff that needs to go in the baskets in the or the boxes rather in the cupboard, tights, uh, shorts, and like other leggings that are more like trousery things. Okay, I think I'm getting really overwhelmed by this. I'm gonna do put away a load of this stuff and we're going to come back to this really bitty stuff some of that stuff I might actually have to go through with Zara anyway and we're going to, I need to move on to some quicker wins I need to to feel like I'm getting somewhere because at the moment I just feel like I'm drowning in stuff a cold inside tore my mind stole my peace I prayed for ease but I've 
got to tackle these boxes. This stuff is for memory boxes. It's not going up in the attic like that. It's just a box of stuff I've been collecting that needs to go into the various children's memory boxes. Peppa Pig toys. Mostly I've been donating things like this that the children don't play with anymore. And yes, we're beyond Peppa Pig toys now to the school. Yeah, I'm very aware. I don't want to be old and they come home and they've had children and they're like, have you got any of my like toys, you know, for my childhood? And they all played with this. Not my eldest to be fair, he wasn't into Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig came into our home with William. So it's more like Thunderbirds and stuff that he was into. But then I guess I'll keep like the Thunderbirds figures and things as well. But do I keep something? I don't know what to keep. I just feel like I want to keep something for them. You know what I mean? For like nostalgia. So maybe I'll put all that up the attic in a box. But equally, you know, as my husband keeps pointing out, I can't just keep putting things up the attic. The ceiling will come through. These are the dresses I put aside that I, I can't bear to get rid of. That I think I want made into a memory blanket. So... That needs to be put somewhere. Those books I need to go through. I think a lot of those need to be donated to the school. And on most of these boxes, I've got to be honest, are just bits of unsorted, uncategorized stuff that has been gathered together. And I don't want to do this anymore. I really don't. I've had enough. I'm totally regretting getting all this stuff out. I do know in my sensible, sensible part of my brain that is not shouting very loud right now that I'll be glad when it's done. But I just, I really don't want to. That's the, I'm just gonna be honest with you, I really, really don't want to. Um, and I think when you get to the dregs of, and not this is far from the dregs, there's still quite a lot, but when you get to the dregs of things, those are the bits that are quite challenging to sort. So I'm just gonna put my audio book back on and keep plodding because, yeah, I, um, I just wanted this to be finished now. <laughs>
now at the stage of overwhelm where I'm kind of going, uh, 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 I'm not really getting anything done. <laughs> Just like, oh, this is oh, actually maybe I should. Maybe, uh, I mean, it's got to look at the positives. I've got quite a lot of empty boxes. I've also got a lot of what the girls would call junk boxes. I hate this bit where it's like the dregs of what do we keep, what do we, and like, where did this go? So I need to stop moaning and just get on with it, but please let me know down in the comments. I'm not the only one that gets this fed up when I'm trying to declutter. I know I'm gonna, it's gonna feel good at the end. I know it is. It just doesn't right now. That maybe he ain't worth it Too bad I hate advice Cause out of sight and out of mind is perfect It's so hard to decide Oh, I know He got me good in his pocket I know that I'm just a treat most when like I've done all her leggings and everything that looks great like I knew where they were gonna go a lot of the stuff I know where it's gonna go sorting the big stuff and then it's down to these like little bits of what Zara would call her junk box so I've got about seven baskets now of just bits of some things that are super precious to her and some things mixed in there are just bits of papers that need to go in the bin and I need to go through all of that now my husband has said He's finishing work early so he can do the school run. So that's fantastic. That's bought me another hour, basically. So maybe I stand a chance. I think I've basically got this last hour. An hour's all I've got left. And then it's like the kids are home, need to do, get them ready for dancing, all that kind of stuff. So I think what I'm going to do, my room's not looking too bad. I've got this um, two bags of toys for the attic, which I might get transferred into boxes but I think I have to order those boxes I need to transfer these clothes um, probably into the, one of these bags as well um, for um, just storing until I find someone to make a memory blanket for me um, this is four memory boxes until the attic ladder comes down I can put all that stuff away so I think my plan is I'm gonna just finish in here vacuum because then at least I feel like I've just got one room that's messy and then I'll just do as much as I can in Zara's room tidy up as best I can before she gets back and accept the fact that I'm human I've run out of time and maybe I'll have to do the last tiny tiny bits on the weekend and maybe I just have to be proud for what I have managed to achieve rather than beating myself up for what I've not managed to do because I just want to see the light I want to be weightless Teach me to fly, I won't be coming down Could somebody wake me up? I don't wanna be here and let the world pass me by yeah. I just see her face where ever I look, she's standing in the crowd
sick of waiting and getting too restless to be in this dusty town. I've heard of this place where people forget and you get another try. I'm thrilled to say I'm done ish sort of um, I'm gonna show you what I've done but I'm gonna admit it is not perfect it has taken me twice as long I've probably achieved half as much as I was hoping but I'm still gonna try and be pleased for what I have done rather than beat myself up for what I have not done so let's take a look so all of these boxes, I am delighted to say, are either a category of things or are empty. For example, these are all doll clothes, doll things. Doesn't look terribly organized, but it's all doll stuff. In here, we've got all sorts of like self-care stuff. So it's like little wigs and hair things and brushes and lip balms, all things like that. In here, these are crybabies, nuimos, those little bunny things she likes, all that kind of stuff. This is a box of random stuff. It is it's a box of not what we're not going to call it a junk box like she used to, but we'll just call it random. But things that actually do need to be kept. These are little people. These are technically baby toys, but the girls still enjoy playing with them because they're all Disney princesses and things. This is all pens, paper, pencils, all that kind of stuff. Her art box. In here, we've got all manner of mostly Disney toys, characters, figures, that kind of thing. And then in here, we've got bags and stuff that she might want to take out, like sunglasses, just a place to put bits like that. Her bookshelf was already reasonably well organized. She did that herself. And then up the top are organized or empty boxes. Her bed that I made up yesterday, I did add this extra pink throw because the pink and lilac themed room, I mean, she's not gonna make a bed like this every day, but when I do it, I'll do it like this. I thought the pink broke up the lilac quite nicely. I do still need to organize a new bed for her, but at least it is clear underneath from where I moved it around yesterday. Inside the wardrobe, we now have, these are her uniform, you know, day by day things. We've talked about these, not in this video, but in other videos. So everything for Monday, everything for Tuesday, everything for Wednesday, that system still stands. We now have dressing up that is hung up nicely rather than exploding all over the place and a sensible amount of dressing up underneath that fits within a basket. This was literally spewing out over the floor. You couldn't shut the wardrobe all of this again we sorted in the last video the section of the declutter but we've got uh karate dancing uniform what's this one pajamas dressing gowns and snuddies and then spare tops and hoodies uh what we've got in there dresses shorts and bottoms two of tutus and dressing up and then bedding and blankets up the top now this i think i want to swap for a dressing table or desk so she's got some drawers and some desk space she can actually put her knees under and then i think we need to get rid of these little tables maybe i have to get the bed first here big the bed is but i'm thinking maybe a different bed and then maybe a chest of drawers there or maybe on the end of the bed facing that way somehow i don't know just a thought so, um, so then we can get rid of this chest of drawers, which is quite, it's pretty, but it's quite bulbous. We bought it in the last house where space wasn't such an issue. The rooms were much bigger. Anyway, this top drawer is hairbands, uh, pants, um, little cosmetic cases of things, uh, sleepy masks, hairbrushes, tiaras, and there's an empty one there. And then the bottom drawer, we've got leggings, vests, and socks. In this bean bag, we have got soft toys. I've not touched those, I've not gone through those. Perhaps a job for another day. Now I do still have one basket of socks I need Zara to go through and three baskets of just bits that need to be gone through. Two bags of things which need to be transferred into boxes to go up the attic. One box of things that's for their memory boxes needs to go up the attic and a bag of clothes 
that needs to be sent to someone for turning into a memory blanket. But yeah, the, so those three baskets I need to go through with Zara, see what she wants to keep, what she doesn't want to keep. Um, and I have got space to put some of that stuff, but really the reason I need to go through it with Zara is a lot of it I don't know what it is. It's like, what is this little bit of thing off? Guaranteed to her it's something very special, so I need her help with that. But I guess I am pretty pleased. I am pretty pleased at what I've managed to achieve. So I need to stop beating myself up and just think, well, it is a job well done. It's a lot better than if I hadn't done it at all. So did I do quite as much as I was hoping? Not quite, but no, okay. I'm I'm gonna give myself, I'm gonna call this a win. So I have got a lot more decluttering I need to do. I need to declutter Will's room, I need to go back through the office. I hate, the, I normally say I dislike doing it at this point. I'm like, I hate it. I don't hate it because it does feel good when it's done. It does feel good. And now I've had a look around. I can't beat myself up for these small amount of baskets because I have done so much. And I know that after the rooms have been decluttered and sorted, the children find it so much easier to keep them tidy. And the children just really love their rooms again. They really fall in love with their rooms again. So I do want need to, next steps, do some more decluttering in Will's room. I don't know whether to do a bit of a change around in there. I do definitely need to do a change around in Zara's room. Will says he likes his bed, but I'm like, well, should we change it? And he's like, oh, I like it, mummy, but so I don't know. All of that to come, we'll make decisions in upcoming videos. So make sure you're subscribed with bell notifications on. You can check out my Patreon for early release videos, or you can check out another video you may enjoy on screen now. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you guys soon. Bye.